I was 13, and I knew it was coming. I heard him say it. Bitch, I'll shoot you. This time, when the gun went off, instead of bare feet on hot pavement, I felt stone. Dark, rough, cold. And yet, I was burning inside. I couldn't talk. I couldn't walk. People were talking, and my sis was yelling at me loudly. I felt my clothes being cut off, and then sharp needles. I saw a long tube with black and yellow coming out. Hotels, the color pink. A ring on a swollen finger. My friend was crying out and another friend was still asking for the dope after. Police sirens, the beeping of a hospital monitor. Are you okay? I smelled fire like burning skin and another smell. I imagined that I was a tree. My branches were cracking and I had rotten roots. If the fruit fell, it will fall towards the sky. I loved running. By the fifth grade, I was the best. My family never saw my races, only the sore feet I had in place. I went from running track and field to running from home. My dream was to run all the way to North Carolina where my dad lived. I ran to the streets instead. I ran to a gang. I was running in circles. Ready, set. I was 13 and I knew it was coming. I heard him say it. Three years later, I became pregnant with my daughter. I was only 16. And by then, I slowed down my race. My laces were untied, and I was defeated by the belly of beauty. My daughter is my best friend now. Because we grew up together. Now she's 19 and just had a baby girl last week. I always tell her to just keep moving. It doesn't matter what people say to us. As long as we just keep pushing through and moving forward, we'll be all right. It's like running a race. Ready, set. Then when a gunshot rings out, you have to make a decision right then to push forward.